it's your girl again my chef so today we are bringing you another dish from grandma's cookbook known as eggplants and dry seafood stew with pounded yam so for this uh, special dish we need the these ingredients so we need uh, aubergine black eggplants and then Asia eggplants or Africa eggplants, which are very rich in antioxidants. They are very high in antioxidants. They will reduce our disease, lower blood sugar, and have cancer fighting benefits. So we also have our dry fish, dry seafood. We have uh, herring, is being the bone. We have stockfish. It's been cooked then we have um, catfish this is freshly green we just grilled this one and we have a uh, sauteed sprouts it's been washed just to take away the sauce we have our prawn we have crayfish half cup of uh, grand uh, crayfish and prawn so these are very rich they improve brain Eyes and hearts, eggs, they are high in omega-3 fatty acid and they all have a vitamin D and B2. So we, yeah, we are also going to use for this cooking, this our paste. If you have been following me, you know I like adding paste. Paste so is a combo of uh, ginger, organic ginger, garlic red onions and spring onions. So we need two tablespoons of that for this dish, roughly blended locust beans and the habanero. This, this is what we blend together, dawa dawa iru locust beans and the habanero, scots bonnets, rodo. This are the one we have blended together, diced onions. Yeah, and then we have the salt to taste. Yeah, then we are going to use um, rapeseed oil instead of palm oil. So we also have our diced yam for our pounded yam. So I will proceed with boiling the eggplants. I will see you later. Yeah, the water is boiling already. So we are having our eggplants into the boiling water to cook for some minutes. It's a very easy and simple special dish. It doesn't take much time to get ready. Okay. All right, we we are back now. Oh, uh, I actually covered it up with foil behind the behind the camera to make it uh, cook faster. So this has been on for 15 minutes ish. I'm going to turn off the heat. Alright, oh, we are back. We are cooking the eggplant uh, stew now with dry seafood. So I'm going to have some oil, rapeseed oil in the pot. Okay, we had our onions. And two tablespoons of the minced ginger, garlic, green onions, and red onions. Mix it together. Then we're going to add our blended iru on the scotch bonnet.
we're not having any artificial sticking into this too. That's why I put a lot of uh, local things and then uh, there's no artificial flavor. This is purely natural flavor. So we might be this cook for a while. So to cook for some minutes. We are eating our eggplants and dry seafood with it's pounded yam. So we can see I've already put the yam on the stove for pounded yam. Oh, this smells so good. So we are going to add this. It's fresh. We are going to add the fish. The stock fish, yeah, stock fish and airy fish. And some water, just a little. And put on the low it so that the the dry the, the dry fish the dry seafood can then cook and be very soft before we had our eggplants so, and we did the eats and cover up We should work on the next 10 15 minutes. All right, we are back. So we have left this to slowly cook for. About 20 25 minutes, you can see that the it's looking cooked already. Yeah, so we just want the fish to be properly cooked, salt. Okay, there now. So, so this is our own medicine. Um, it means we have crayfish and prawns and and some other thing. So with this, you don't need to add any artificial seasoning. All right. So let's try it. This is our cup. Together, thoroughly, then get that taste for salt. If you need to add salt, That's right. yeah. I'm going to taste for for salt. A little sauce just to bring out the off flavor. Okay, this kind of sauce we do. And then we just have the aubergine. You can see our eggplants it's chili we dry seafood is ready and then you've seen me making the yam earlier 
So all we need to do right now is just to dish the catfish we're going to use with it has been grilled already. Let's serve it. See you later. All right. Here we have it. This is our panda jam. Oh, our panda jam is also a good uh, source of uh, antioxidants. Yam is very rich in the antioxidants. It's also anti-cancer. It has anti-cancer properties. It also improves the uh, digestion and gut health. Yam also improves blood sugar levels, improves brain function. It also hates weight loss. Good for weight loss. So you can try this with your family. It's a very simple, you can see, very simple and easy to make for anyone that wants to live healthy, that wants to eat moderately. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's a plant-based with some, with some fish. You don't need to give up some of the things you like eating. All you need to do is just to do them in moderation. So we are going to dish our food. And this is our eggplants and dried seafood stew. You can give it a try. Make it for your family. And come back and share your experience with me. So please, if you like this, Give it a thumbs up, go and like it, then put your, your comments and subscribe, please. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel, so I'm having my catfish. So when you eat this, you can have little, little, little bites of uh, Stockfish, every fish, yeah. This is one of the Grammar special special dishes, special delicacy. Yeah. I don't know if have you tried pounded yam with the Ubajin before? Let me know in the comments. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. See you in my next video. Bye.